Hello and welcome back to another review. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at a very special calculator, although this review won't include a take apart, uh, mostly because I actually intend to use this calculator for my studies, um, and you'll soon see why. This calculator is a Texas Instruments TI-82. Uh, what's special about it is it actually has a Zilog Z80 CPU, a 6 megahertz uh, model. Um, and if you don't know much about the Zilog Z80, it was very popular in computers in the late 70s, I think, early 80s. I'm not quite sure on that whole deal, but uh, it, it's, it's around in a lot of different computers. Um, I'll, I'll probably put a few pictures up uh, while, we're, while this video's going. I just can't think of them off the top of my head. I'm pretty tired today, but um, going through, it also has 32 kilobytes of RAM, so there's a lot, of, a lot you can do with that. And... Um, the display is the only limited part. Uh, it takes the, it can do eight rows of text with uh, 16 characters, um, and it's only monochrome. Um, so for the time, uh, yeah, it, it was a decent calculator. But uh, you know, for me, maybe color would have been something I would have looked for. We'll just multiply the square root of two by uh, the square root of two. And it should give me two, so we're correct there. Uh, and then I will also try uh, the other famous test, one divided by nine, and then uh, I'll just do multiply by nine. And this should be able to follow order of operations and give me one. Yeah, and it, it's correct. Uh, so this calculator, one of the special things about it, and one of the reasons I really enjoy this calculator is it includes TI Basic. Uh, I can uh, hit uh, program here, and if I can get it to focus. I can hit program here, and if I go into like, uh, let's say, test one, uh, I think this should be a hello world program. Yep, so I just displayed hello world Hello world using TI Basic. Um, it's, uh, you can edit, uh, I'll just create a new program here, name, uh, I'll do second, and then alpha lock, and we can call it OQQP, I guess. Uh, so we can put in display and hello, and I should be able to now uh, hopefully go into second here, program, and then go into mode, and then clear. I think I should be able to do this. So now if I turn the calculator back on and then do clear, program, and we can go to QQQP and run it, and it now displays hello on the screen. So. That was a basic display program in uh, TI Basic. So uh, this calculator, the only other thing that's uh, kind of annoying is to turn it off. You have to hit second and then go down to the on button and uh, hit off. And then the final thing that uh, you know most people won't really care about is um, opening up the back. It takes um, four AAA batteries and it also takes this um, uh, Let's see, I think it's just a clock cell. It's a CR1616, it looks like. So, you're going to need a lot of batteries to get this thing running, but uh, I, I think it's definitely worth it. I definitely recommend the TI-82 for any of your schooling needs. It's a graphing calculator, has scientific everything. Uh, it has almost as many modes as stuff like, uh, let's see, like a TI-35X. Um, it's just only a little bit thicker, obviously, because it's graphing calculator, so, um, yeah. Oh, and the final thing I forgot to mention is this data port on the bottom. You can upload your TI Basic programs to this thing, and it's, it's the best if you get some games on there. I recently cleared the memory but, uh, by opening it up uh, just to check it out, but, um, so I accidentally deleted all those. But I definitely recommend it for games, because, uh, even though they're rather simple compared to what you can play on the TI-83 Plus, um, I definitely recommend this. So, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. I know this is like my third ending, but yeah. Anyways, bye-bye.